So did anybody see these two ladies fighting on the damn bus in San Francisco? Um, there was uh, two women fighting on the bus, and it was so funny. But when I put the links to these videos on the side, I don't want you to look at the video. You probably already seen the video. I want you to read some of the comments people write on the bottom of the page. Every week or every couple of weeks, there's a different crusade, you know, almost on YouTube. There's one thing that we as the people of YouTube have not done yet. We have not got together to complain about some of the comments that are allowed to be read. Now, some comments make sense. And some comments, when they're just bashing people for race or whatever, have no place on YouTube. If they can censor what we say... YouTube ought to censor what the viewers' comments are. If you can't speak in an intelligent manner when you type something on the bottom of our pages, don't type nothing at all. If you are challenged, maybe YouTube ought to have... Okay, this is a good idea. Maybe YouTube ought to have a, a option where you can talk. You might not show the people's face, but they can leave a voice comment and your person has to click on the comment to hear it but you leave a voice comment that way if somebody says something negative or stupid you can hear it from some real person it won't you won't be able to disguise if you're a little kid on YouTube not supposed to be on YouTube your little comments you know calling people names nigger cracker whatever you know making fun of people's sex or you know, talking about the nose or the ethnicity, you won't be able to do it unless you use your voice. Um, to be able to type anything you want is a privilege. And a lot of people say a lot of positive things. A lot of people have a lot of insight. If you watch some of the videos where you have people actually debating the video on the bottom of the video, that is a wonderful thing. But if all you can type is negativity on the bottom of the screen, then what is the purpose of us sitting here trying to teach people from our mistakes or our experiences anything? If all that the regular people will see is negativity written on the bottom of the screen. And, it, and it's pitiful to see a touching story or to see a child trying to sing or to see someone doing something, having the courage to stand in front of the camera and do it and then you read on the bottom of the screen and it messes it up for you because you believe these people tried they did the best they could and they didn't deserve what the person wrote on the bottom of the screen that prompted me to build YouTube jail but of course now I don't have a computer sitting in front of me and a computer sitting on the side of me and everything on YouTube at the same time I don't have the patience for YouTube jail anymore um, as you see with Broke Man Studio, we have a new facilitator at Broke Man Studio. I'm still the producer, the director, the master of Broke Man Studio. Don't get me wrong. But now, you know, you got my main man, the boss Francis over there holding it down. Um, YouTube jail is something that I'm thinking about giving to somebody. And there's only one person, I think, that could do YouTube jail justice from my perspective to the point and then there's no man need die which I want to hand over to somebody else who has the passion in which to continue to treat every human being as an entity of its own and worth something and no man need to die I mean that's come on hey you they're showing the YouTube video again look I looked at this video three times and I'm gonna go ahead and say it there is an Asian woman and a black woman fighting on the bus so instantly my mind is like okay you got two older women fighting on the bus now they're complaining about the bus driver on the news and this is major here in San Francisco The 
they said drivers are not supposed to intervene. They're showing the ladies fighting again. So um, these two ladies are fighting, and it's very interesting because the first thing that comes to my mind is like, okay, there's this black woman. She's in Chinatown on the bus. The bus is, you know, there's, you know, Asian people all over the bus, and there's one white guy filming. Oh, look, they got Obama. You got Obama accepting the Nobel Peace Prize and telling us about his Nobel win. So, he's saying he's humble. So, Obama wins the Nobel Prize. Asian and black people fighting on buses. So, let me finish this. So, um, I began to read the comments. And, and I told my son this morning before I took him to school, I'm like, Let's see how many ignorant comments there are on this one video. And we looked, and it's like, yeah, that nigger thought she had it going on. And uh, it was like, just another nigger thinking they're bad until she gets her ass kicked. And it's like, stuff like that. Those are the comments that need not be on the bottom of the video. And there are people like writing that, I wonder what set this whole thing off. Whoo, she went Bruce Lee on her ass. Things like that is funny. Because during the fight, you know, the Asian woman broke down into a karate stance, and I'm like, wow, and it was, you know, it was funny. And then, you know, the black chick scurried her ass off the bus. And when you look at it, it's like, yeah, you up in this person's face, yappity, 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 yap. Uh, do it again, I'm gonna put, and then, you know, sister, bang. Next thing you know, they was going at it, then it pop, pop, pop upside the head a few times, but, it's not funny that two older people are fighting. It's funny how the two older people looked fighting. But what happened is real life. You're on public transit. You don't want to get argued with by no black people, no white people, no Mexicans, nobody. You know, what set that off? We don't know. But the statements written on the bottom of the video do not fit the video. Once again, we got Obama talking about how he feel about the Nobel Prize. Around the world, they say Obama's bringing peace around the world. In America, Obama bringing old drama. Obama bringing old drama. You like that old drama, Obama? Let me get back to the fight. So, these women's is fighting on the bus and everything. In California, they're taking it serious now. They're going to do an investigation. Your bus driver might be in some deep trouble. But on YouTube... It's not a comedy. It's not an action movie. This is two people on their way someplace fighting on the bus because the human condition is so bad people have to lash out at each other? Don't you like the way I do my videos? Those who hate me don't. But listen. No bombers talking about people need mutual interest and mutual respect. I can jump back and forth two people fighting in Obama all day. But I'm getting back to the crux of it, and I only got like a minute and a half left. So here it goes. Some of the comments written on the bottom of our videos take away from the video itself. Sometimes people click on it, and then they read the comment, then they look at the video. Sometimes by reading the comments, you think, man, I'm not going to even watch this video. Why is that? I'm tired of getting a bunch of racial stuff sent to me. I'm tired of people sending me racial shit. Let me fall into it. Let me find it myself. I don't look for it. I'm tired of people writing racial things on bottom of videos. That nigger got what she thought because she thought she was bad. Blah, blah, blah. We can't just be people for one damn time and find out why we fighting each other in the streets on buses. Older women, not young girls going by. These is older women. What have we become? A nation of people ready to go to battle against each other and not those who are there to destroy us. Those who fight us and pit us against each other. Those people should be too.